Hello students and welcome to another science online class. Our topic for today is electromagnetic spectrum. I am Sir Mao and I will be your instructor for this topic. This presentation is powered by DLSAU Farm, Flexible Alternative Remote Modality of Learning. What is a wave? So wave is any disturbance that propagates energy from one region to another. So we have two types of wave. First is the mechanical wave, which travels within a medium or matter. It can be solid, liquid, or gas. While light wave is a wave doesn't require a medium to travel. So an example of electromagnetic wave is light wave. So when most people use the term light waves, they usually mean visible light. In physics, however, the term light waves tends to be used as a, as a synonym for electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are made of oscillating magnetic and electric fields, and like all waves, they carry energy. In mechanical waves, we have two types. First is longitudinal wave. Longitudinal waves are waves in which the displacement of the medium is in the same direction as, or the opposite direction to, the direction of propagation of the wave. So for a longitudinal wave, we have, a cer we have certain parts first. Uh, in a slinky, ayan, the physical example of longitudinal wave is the toy slinky. So yung part na compressed, is the compression while well, yung part na major na layo okay or maluwag is rare faction and then followed by another compression so from one compression to another compression is a wavelength tapos kapag tayo ay guguhit ng linya sa kitna so from that line to the wave is amplitude while other type of mechanical wave is a transverse wave so when say transverse wave, it is a moving wave whose oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of the wave or path of propagation. So an example of this is given by the waves that can be created on a horizontal length of string by anchoring one end and moving the other end up and down. Yeah, and so we have two types of mechanical waves, longitudinal wave and transverse wave. So, ito yung example ng transverse wave yung nasa taas and then the, lo the longitudinal wave naman sa baba. James Clerk Maxwell was a Scottish scientist in the field of mathematical physics. His most notable achievement was to formulate the classical theory of electromagnetic radiation. So, he brings together for the first time electricity, magnetism, and light as different manifestation of the same phenomenon. So, that phenomenon is electromagnetic waves. Galing ni James Clark, uh, James Clark Maxwell. Henrich Hertz showed experimental evidence of electromagnetic waves and their link to light. So, he is a German physicist who first conclusively proved the existence of the electromagnetic waves predicted by James Clerk Maxwell's equation of magnetism. So, pinangalan sa kanya yung unit for frequency, which is hertz. So, this is an example of electromagnetic wave. Now, let's discuss the properties of electromagnetic waves. Number one. All electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. So as you can see in the picture, we have certain parts. First are the crest, which, which are the highest part of the wave. Wave trough is the lowest part of the wave. The wave height is the vertical distance between the wave trough and the wave crest. While wavelength is the distance between two consecutive wave crests or two consecutive wave troughs. The other one is amplitude, which refers to the maximum amount of displacement of a, parti of a particle on a medium from its rest position. Thank you for listening.